So welcome back, everybody. As more Americans are flocking to Cuba for the first time in decades, the nation's tourism industry is rapidly changing and growing. King 5's Jake Wittenberg, who's been to Cuba himself, is now here with a lot more details. Good morning. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. I uh, don't have to tell you how popular Cuba is these days. Steve Marshall is here in the studio this morning. Uh, you started the first online Cuba travel company, That's right? That's true, yeah. yeah, back in the 90s. Back yeah. in the 90s. Yeah. A lot's changed in Cuba since lots the 90s. Changed, yeah. So first especially question, now. Yeah, especially now, even Joyce was just talking. A lot of people uh -huh. want to go to this country. What mm -hmm. do you have to do right now? It's easier than ever, right? Well, you have 12 categories that mm -hmm. you have to fit into uh, to be able to visit the island. This is not a tourist destination where you can go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Um, but those 12 categories, categories are pretty broad and, and, and easy, pretty easy to accomplish. So you have to say you're there for educational purposes, religion, exactly, yeah. arts, for example. Right now we're looking at Carnival Santiago de Cuba, right? You've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, lots going on there. Tell us now if you're traveling there mm -hmm. like this, what are some of the events that you might want to see? Well, you'd want to, obviously, the, the Carnival in Santiago de Cuba is just amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably on par with some of the largest in the world, such as Rio. Mm -hmm. um, and you have a uh, totally different experience than being in Havana. And it's obviously easier, too, to get accommodation and to visit that type of event. Right. Uh, also, when uh, I was there, at least, we went to have, uh, the Havana Club, right? Rum, cigars, right. obviously the, yeah, incredibly the, popular. Yeah, the rum factory and museum yeah. tour. Yeah, there it is, right here. Yeah. And, and in fact, that, that synchronizes with uh, Obama's recent um, approval for right. Americans to buy as much rum and bring as much rum as they wish back to, to the U.S. Karl Marx Theater here. This is where the film That's festival in Havana. is held. Yeah. Yeah. When I was here, this First was Avenue full in of Miramar. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. I stayed a few blocks away from here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a testament as to the kind of community feel that Cuba has, right? Exactly. Just another world. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And I think you'll find that, um, especially if you went to uh, things like the, um, uh, the film festival, mm -hmm. you know, this, this is a, a big deal. I mean, this is Oliver Stone, Steven Spielberg, and this year you've had the Transformers filmed in Havana. You've had uh, Fast and Furious <laughs> filmed in Havana. The Transformers were yeah, filmed, filmed in Havana. That cigar, there you go. You can get a lot more cigars now. Yeah. The president lifted You can the buy as many as you wish, mm -hmm. and you can bring back as many as you wish as of last week. Right. Can't resell them, though, right, at this point? Personal well, use. no, obviously not. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, so I, also, when you get there, again, you've got to be in these 12 main categories. Yeah. But it's not like it's illegal to, in the Cuban government's eyes that you're there. No, it's of illegal not. in America's eyes. Exactly. That's where people kind of have yeah. it backwards. Uh, Cuba doesn't care mm -hmm. what Americans do when they get to Cuba. And that is one of the fallacies that, right. that, that exists. Okay? Yeah. Uh, but obviously, you have to abide by the law, mm -hmm. uh, okay? but the categories are broad and you have the ability to go down there just to further your education on mm -hmm. any subject, colonial buildings, history, anything. Yeah, exactly. We're seeing some real beautiful shots here, but in closing here, let's face it, this is still a country that's very high poverty rate. Yes. There's a lot of go around the corner, see things that you're not typically seeing in that kind of video still, right? It's true. It's true, but also you have Cuban culture, mm -hmm. which is just so unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have this melting pot of African, Spanish, um, uh, Russian even, mm -hmm. you know, for through the years of the Cold War, I mean, uh, uh, Cuba was, was Russia's main trading partner. So you have all this, this blend and it's very, very unique. It is very unique. Great to have you this morning. Thank Thanks. you very much. Yeah, that Thank you. Nice, nice that they gave us the opportunity to do this. I'm going to post on my Facebook page how people can travel mm -hmm. there because there are a couple of tips you should know yeah. and a link to your site as well. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate you yeah. for having Thank us. You. Guys, back to you. Cool stuff. Yeah. Learned a lot, you guys. Thank Great you. Info.